Hello, it is Monday, February 26th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Monday crossword, which means we're going to be solving a relatively gentle early week uh, themed puzzle. It's a Monday puzzle, so it will have a theme. And um, this early week themed edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by uh, Gita Karuti, uh, Jake Rodkin, and Overfull Hitbox, as well as, as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the four of them. They're benefactors of the Daily Salt Patreon campaign, which means they do contribute to this channel. They directly support it day in, day out. Very grateful to them for that. It keeps this whole thing going. And if you'd like to become a patron and sustain the channel, uh, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily salt. You'll find there well, I, there's also a description field link, and you'll find there the uh, bonus videos available to patrons, such as this month's February monthly bonus, bonus puzzle from the New York Times themed around romantic comedy films, and uh, the most recent mini puzzle pseudo speed solve, and all the other ones, I guess. There's also the official mug for benefactors. Thanks to everybody who backs the Patreon at any level. Thanks as well if you subscribe to the channel on YouTube. That is a big help. You could also comment from time to time on the videos, like the videos. Those things are helpful as well. And finally, there's the Daily Solve Discord chat server, a nice friendly chat community. You can join. There's a link to that under the video. Um, so now, having said all that, let's get on to today's crossword, which is a Monday-themed puzzle by Joe Marquez, whose second puzzle this is. It was edited, as always, by Will Shorts, so let's start solving. Okay, we have we have quite a lot of evidence of a theme. We have shaded cells, we have circled cells, so thematic things await. Little spheres in a pod. Peas, maybe? Peas in a pod? Let's try that. That would fit. Oh, let's try the, shall we try solving the Monday just with the crosses? People seem to like when I do that. Um, here we have blank manana, hasta manana. There we go, a bit of Spanish. And Salt Lake City's home, Salt Lake City's in the U.S. state of Utah. Language in Pakistan would be Urdu. That's, that is a language spoken in Pakistan. And outspoken, aloud. Do I think that's right? If you've spoken something out, you've spoken it aloud. I'm going to put it in, in the interest of trying, <laughs> trying this silly across based solving pattern. And we'll just, we'll just see, we'll correct it later if we have to. Canceled as a mission. Nixed a mission or what? Canceled as a mission. Void as an initial mission has been canceled. It's void. It's dead. It's. No go, maybe. I don't know. I don't know which I think that is. This might not go very well. Where silt builds up to create a delta. That's a river mouth. I mean, that's what a delta is. Um, oh, vermouth. We've spelled vermouth in the, um, in the shaded cells. I wonder if we'll get other... Well, vermouth is a, is a, is a uh, you know, fortified wine. I wonder what else we'll get in there. Anyway, two-person acts are duos, I suppose. Former stadium for the Indianapolis Colts. Oh, no, I haven't a clue about this one, unfortunately. Can I infer it by guessing what downs might be without looking at their clues? Uh, probably not. Oh, they all look like they're, these all look like they might end with ease to me, all these downs. Uh, well, not all of them, but... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to skip it. To come into view, it would be to appear. Trawler's mesh, it would be a net, trawling in the sense of fishing. Role of each angry man in 12 Angry Men. This is, I believe, Sidney Lumet's first feature film. And uh, it's about a jury. So each of the each of the 12 is a, was a juror. And it's a great film. Uh, okay, muscles worked on a pull day informally pull your your lats maybe if you're sort of pulling things down i think those those would be your lats your your what is it looked no i don't remember the full name but anyway so i believe that's what that would be okay like many small powerful airplanes small powerful airplanes like sort of twin jet or something twin engine I mean, when I think of a small, powerful, I mean, I guess it, 
I mean, I don't know about the powerful bit, but when I think of a, a relatively small aircraft, I think of a twin engine aircraft usually. I guess powerful in the sense that it's not, it's not what, just a propeller plane? I'm not, I'm not exactly, I think that it probably is twin engine because it does fit. Oh, I must have something wrong. This doesn't look right. Up here, it doesn't look right. I'm not going to look at the down clues, but but I don't think this is right. Emerge, maybe. Okay. Uh, just based on the crosses. We'll keep going. Diarmas of the 2022 biopic Blonde. Uh, Anna Diarmas, who's been, whose career has really been on a rise in recent years. And culpability is fault. If you're culpable, you're at fault. Oh, that doesn't look good in the downs either, does it? This is, this is not as going as well as last week. Thimble or Scottish Terrier and Monopoly. A token, a player token. A fleecy boot brand. Ugg is fa you know, famous boot brand with fleece. Knee tissue torn in an athletic injury for short would be the ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament. Very common athletic injury. That makes sense. Aha, maybe? That makes sense. Or it could be something like Oh, O A H or that, you know, that's, I don't know. Don't know what I think it is. It could be, could be either of those or something else I'm not thinking of. Raising the flag on Iwo Jima, iconic photo of 1945. That's a famous uh, Second World War photograph. And actress Close, Glenn Close, I'm sure this is. If one crosses the finish line last, say, one loses, I, I suppose. Control Alt Delete is a keyboard shortcut that used to restart a computer instantly, but now brings up a uh, sort of utility menu on a Windows computer anyway. Definitely husband material. Um, he's he's the one maybe. Does that fit? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. He's. Oh, we do have, sorry, I just noticed we do have, I am only looking at the crosses, but we do have vermouth and wine spelled out here. Interesting. So, I mean, vermouth is a kind of wine, essentially. Uh, sake, maybe? How oh, is that? He's a keeper. Okay, great. Um, a rice wine. Okay, we'll keep going. Banks who hosted America's Next Top Model. Tyra Banks is a model, so that might be the case. Oven warmed sandwiches. Oven warmed sandwiches. Euros, maybe? Not really sure. I don't know about that. Status blanks. The status quo. Um, you know, the status quo ante, how things how things were before, how things are ordinarily, as we as we use it to mean generally. Uh, expedition for wildlife viewing would be a safari. Low key would be uh, calm or or, un, or or sort of normal or low key would be unobtrusive or um, I can't think of anything that fits in this in this bit just just yet. Um, low key. Mm, I'm sorry, I can't quite think without any, without any crosses. Other halves, no more X's. So your other half could be your partner, but no more would be your X. I'm paying for this round or a literal hint to this puzzle's theme. Something like it's on me or drinks on me or something. Um, a literal hint to this puzzle's theme. Oh, it is... It is something about on me, and this isn't fault, it's blame. Culpability is blame because me will go into the circled cells, which are still still acrosses at this point. So low key, oh no, sorry, it wasn't that, it was this. I'm paying for this round. This one's on me or or drinks, drinks on me. That's what it is. That's what it is. Because vermouth, wine, and sake are drinks and they're on me underneath. Okay, great which means I'm paying for this round in a bar. Handy oven accessory, a mitt, an oven mitt. Spooky is probably eerie. That's often, that's a, that's a relatively common clue. Oblong tomato variety, plum tomatoes. 
Um, seems reasonably likely. Um, although, now that I think about it, what is there? Sorry, I'm just trying to think of other possibilities here before I commit to that one. What is the one that I was thinking that I'm thinking of that I can't? Plum tomatoes or Roma tomatoes. That's what I was thinking of. Roma tomatoes used um, in uh, tomato sauces and things like things like that. And I like that better as the potential crosses, just in terms of making more likely letter combinations. Okay, that makes sense. I see. Or uh, that makes sense. I see. Or what else could it be? Um, I don't know. I'm just going to put it in. We'll, we'll change it if we have to. Uh, petty quarrels could be spats, maybe. There's a lone one on Texas's flag, a star. Um, the Lone Star State, as Texas is known. Okay, so now can I can I go back and try the crosses again? Cancelled as a mission. No go looks much better than the other possibilities in terms of just crossing potential letters. Former stadium for the Indianapolis Colts. Oh well, the ME. It's probably a something dome. Um, I haven't a clue what this is. I mean. The downs look like they're all E's, which is very strange. I don't know. I'm going to have to eventually just get that one some other way. That makes sense. Could be... I mean, it could be ah. Is it ah? That makes sense. I'm not really sure what else it would be. I guess I'm just going to try that and see. What a strange way to solve this puzzle this is. <laughs> much, much fiddlier than last week. Sorry about this. It didn't really turn out as as uh, as well. So oven warmed sandwiches. Oh, melts, isn't it? As in, right, like a, a sandwich with cheese that melts of some sort. Uh, low key is... Oh, boy. Um, could start with a U if the down is unit, um, or knit, I guess. Oh boy, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to give up on this, this method. <laughs> oh, it did not go, did not go well this week. Okay. Well, let's look at the down here. Contented cats. Oh, it's a purr. It doesn't start with an E. Right. Okay. And then Mayor Adams of New York City. That also isn't an E. I thought it was going to be Erie. It's not. It's Eric. Oh, my, my goodness. Okay. And then here we have upper hands in competition. Oh, advantages. I don't know why I thought that was an E. That was obviously an A. Um, RCA Dome. Okay. Well, there we go. New to me. Didn't know that. Uh, unsurprisingly. No joke, as I kid you not. There we go. Uh, Henry VIII and family are Tudors. Okay. The, the uh, royal house. Um of then England. Um, here we have most Super Bowl MVPs for short. Uh, quarterbacks, I guess, QBs. Peevish State is a snit. Wow, I was, wasn't was at all inferring these correct. Oh, subdued is the cross answer. So Hawaiian instruments informally are ukes, ukuleles. Uh, Stone or Watson of the big screen would be Emma Stone or Emma Watson. And start of a, many a diary entry would be a year. Okay. No, it, I see I see what it is. It's dear, as in dear me, I guess. Dear diary. That's what you'd say. <laughs> right, sorry. And and there we go. Okay, so what what about the downs? We didn't we didn't see. Let's find out. Um upper hands in competition are advantages. Fine leathers are suede. Soccer great Mia is Mia Ham, who at least I, I have heard of her. A uh, balm ingredient is aloe, the official medicinal plant of the New York Times crossword. Old coin of France is a sou from which we get the phrase, you know, not one sou, that kind of phrase, meaning no, not even a tiny amount of money. Boy King, whose tomb was discovered in 1922, familiarly is uh, Tut or King Tutankhamun from um, ancient Egypt. It's to stick like glue would be to adhere, for, you know, two things to be fastened to one another. Uh, to be subjected to as treatment is to undergo something. To take the show on the road is to tour. Breathless with excitement would be a gog, completely breathless. Alternative to a watering can could be a hose in a garden. 
To go bad is to rot. Calendar divisions are months. Henson, who vo voiced Kermit the Frog, is Jim Henson, of course. Apprehensive feeling uh, would be unease. And ha 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 is a laugh. Hidden motive is an angle. Extra attentive coddling, for short, is TLC. A billfold is, is your wallet, where you might keep your money. No joke is I kid you not. If something's more up to date, it's newer. Sherlock Holmes' sister on Netflix is Enola. Enola Holmes is a series. A loan officer, for example, could be a banker. And uh, what's her name? That lady. You could refer to vaguely as what's her name. Greeting that originated on the Indian subcontinent is Namaste. Photo ops are PR events, so photo opportunities are public relations events. Skips, if one skips over as vowels, one elides them, so sort of leaves them out of your speech. Henry, oh, Henry VIII and family, we saw that. His tutors, quarterbacks, we saw that. A match before the final it would be the semifinals or the semi, or a semi, a match. Uh, X or Y number line in graphing would be an axis of a, of a you know, Cartesian plane. An elaborate celebration could be a fete, a sort of a fancy party. A peevish state would be a snit if you're in a bit of a, a, bit, a bit irritated. Hawaiian instruments informally are ukes or ukuleles. We saw Emma, we saw deer. Unit at the gym would be a rep, so one rep of an exercise, one repetition. And a 401k alternative for short would be an IRA, an individual retirement account, which was also in the, uh, in the grid yesterday. This is, uh, these are both U.S. financial retirement investment instruments. And, uh, and there we go. Okay, well, it's funny. You can see why the, why the even when I don't do a, a, an excellent job of solving the puzzle with all the crosses, it still goes so much faster. It's amazing how much time it takes simply to read all of the um, clues, regardless of, of how long it takes to solve them. It's so interesting. It sort of reveals why... You know, my solve times are so much longer on video than they than they are if I'm just solving on my own. Um, because even here, I, I, I found this to be somewhat of a stumbling solve. But yeah, 12 minutes is still, you know, I still have, would have had to add several minutes on that just to read all of those other clues. It's very interesting. Anyway, um, let's look at the theme quickly, finally. Oh, what is this? Oh, right. Oh, sorry, I, I read this and I was thinking, this doesn't look like a word. I already forgot what it was. RCA dome. Anyway. Here we have, I'm paying for this round, or a literal hint to this puzzle's theme, so drinks on me. And we have three drinks, vermouth, wine, and sake, all of which are on me. So I suppose what that's indicating in this case is that this is sort of three friends, one of whom is ordering a vermouth, one a wine, and one a sake. It's an interesting round. Uh, but there we have it. I don't know if it's literally what that's supposed to mean, but that's what it seems to be indicating. And uh, that was The Monday Puzzle by Joe Marquez, solved in a slightly strange way by me. I might continue to try this each Monday just for, just for some variety. I don't know. Uh, but there we have it. That was The Monday Crossword. I'll be back tomorrow with another should be relatively gentle themed early week crossword, Tuesday crossword. Join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.